It doesn't sound like hard time for inmates at one Colorado prison. They're serving life sentences for horrendous crimes, including murder and child sex abuse. But they're ordering food from Walmart, clothes from Amazon, and enjoying many other privileges. Our investigator Brian Moss reports why the Department of Corrections says this treatment of female inmates is a good thing. I've never heard of this before, and I think that your viewers would be outraged by what's going on down there in Pueblo. Here's what he's talking about. She was convicted of taking part in a robbery and murder. She was convicted of sexual assault on children, and she was convicted of murdering her boyfriend. They are just some of the inmates doing life or long sentences in the La Vista Women's Prison near Pueblo. They live in a special newer section called the Honor House, where inmates are allowed to come and go from their cells as they please, use pricey exercise equipment, are provided more comfortable furniture, and can order from Walmart and Amazon twice a month. About 30 inmates have earned the right to live in the Honor House. Because a lot of what we've been doing in corrections hasn't worked. Christy Donner with the Colorado Criminal Justice Reform Coalition says this kind of incarceration helps prepare women for life after prison. As for inmates with no chance of getting out, like Stephanie Deverick doing life for the murder of another woman, her participation in the Honor House is seen as critical to the success of younger inmates who will get out. It's the uh, benefit that they can offer as mentors because people that have really long sentences in prison often can be a very stabilizing um, force. Well, it sounds like a five-star hotel. Former Denver District Attorney Mitch Morrissey. These are people that the victims think belong behind bars for the rest of their lives. But this doesn't sound like they're behind bars to me. Twice every month, guards from the prison travel to this Walmart in Pueblo and pick up food and other items the inmates have ordered using their own money. The inmates are also allowed to order off of Amazon. Some ordering items from Victoria's Secret by Amazon and Aviator Sunglasses, Red Bull, and chai tea. Certain types of uh, teas that they, they like drinking, organic bread, um, you know, beef sticks, um, earthbound farm organic power greens. Taxpayer paid guards are going out and doing this. That's part of their job is basically to be errand boys for these women. I think is outrageous. From mint chocolate ice cream and granola to black forest ham and cocoa puffs. Order forms obtained by CBS4 show the inmates get regular deliveries of what some might consider luxury items. Morrissey was especially aggravated to learn that Linda Torres, who his office got convicted for her part in sexually assaulting children, was living in the Honor House unit while her victims are struggling to get by. I don't know what kind of mentor she is now, but I know what kind of mentor she was when she was out on the street, and it was horrendous. Both the boy and the girl victim in this case are not living with big screen TVs, fish tanks, and all of the things that I've read about. Re-traumatizing people and brutalizing people serves no one. Yeah, they're not pounding rocks. Uh, we shouldn't want them to. <laughs> because that's not gonna serve us. I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado first. The Department of Corrections declined to be interviewed on camera and wouldn't allow our cameras into the Honor House. They did, however, talk to us by phone and by email, said this type of incentive unit makes for a safer prison for inmates and the staff. Says it's also helping reduce the number of repeat offenders.